Here is another really nice picture of an artery and a vein on the other side, which we'll see, in which you could see that we have some really uh, nice layers of smooth muscle within the arterial wall. And you could see something here, what you might imagine as being an internal elastic lamina. But otherwise, the media is uh, just chiefly uh, circular bands of smooth muscle. You can see the adventitia around it with smaller vessels around the artery and a lot of loose connective tissue and fat. If we did an elastic stain of this exact artery, which has a rigid, non-collapsible wall, we would see a, uh, a very, very nice internal elastic lamina. You see how nicely that a squiggly elastic uh, bundle stains with uh, elastic uh, stains. And uh, we, if we went back to the H&E, we would certainly see every now and then that the uh, substance deep to it would be uh, intima. And maybe we would be lucky enough to see perhaps some individual uh, endothelial cells as where, well, perhaps here perhaps here. All the rest of these are smooth muscle. In contrast to the uh, artery, you can see next to it is a vein. And even though a large artery may have a large lumen, there are always enough smooth muscle layers within the artery to keep that blood vessel rigid. Whereas a vein, even a very, very large vein, will uh, have a wall that is so relatively thin, it would be very, very much subject to collapsing as well as to uh, pooling of blood, which is why veins have valves and arteries don't. Uh, here is a, a medium-sized vein in contrast to a medium-sized artery. Uh, thinner wall and collapsible lumen. Also note that down here is a same vein with an elastic stain and you could clearly see there is no internal elastic lamina in any of the veins. Another thing that you could tell uh, certainly to differentiate them grossly is that even the very 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 thickest or largest of veins are thin enough to where you could see the bluish blood underneath. So the general rule is, if a blood vessel is blue, it's a vein. And if a blood vessel is hard, it's probably because there's a lot of dried blood within that uh, lumen. If an artery is hard, it's probably hard because it has atherosclerosis of the wall because it's unlikely for an artery to pool blood except for the very, very largest ones like the aorta, for example. So here's a classical uh, medium-sized artery, and here's a classical medium-sized vein. Even the veins have the same general pattern of intima, media, and adventitia, with the intima being this little layer of connective tissue in the collapsible lumen. Perhaps you might be lucky enough to find some uh, endothelial cells in the middle. And then the... Uh, actual wall being chiefly just a few layers of smooth muscle cells. And then once again, this loose connective tissue of the adventitia. So here's your intima, here's your media, and here's your loose connective tissue of the adventitia. And look at, we even have a little blood vessel within the outer uh, layer of the media, which is also vasa visorum. But generally speaking, arteries have a much, much greater vasa visora, vasa network than veins do. So if you see a blood vessel that has a lot of uh, tiny little uh, blood vessels on the surface of it, it's much more likely to be an artery rather than a vein. Although you could see here and here, and I'll be glad to blow it up for you, that you do see a little blood vessel within the wall of this large vein. And I thank you very much.